Today, we're talking zip lines. From how to use them to how to abuse them, we're going in depth as to what makes them such a vital part of the Warzone experience. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. We're going to start off today by cutting this video into two parts. Firstly, we have our zipline basic section with these three different units. Lastly, we'll end with our zipline advanced section with these four different units. Feel free to skip throughout the video depending on your skill level, and if you're unsure where to skip to, it's probably best to watch all the way through. All right, we are getting straight into the zipline master class. Also, I do want to say this is the first video in the last couple videos where you've seen my face. So hello, how goes everyone? Uh, but let's get straight into it. So this is tip number one. Essentially, we're just going to be talking about the different types of zips in our basics category. So right here in front of me, you can see the horizontal zipline, which works just like any other zipline you grapple on and it takes you to the other side. There's not much that you could do with the horizontal ziplines, but there's really not many horizontal ziplines around. So it's not something that you have to worry about. Secondly, you have have your balloons which are the same as vertical zip lines but obviously at the top it launches you away so we'll go ahead and take this real quick uh, and then we'll go take it to a vertical zip line so you take that balloon launches you super far really self-explanatory with the balloons however vertical zip lines are where people have the most challenge especially talking about some of the cool stuff you could do with these vertical zip lines most notably the number one tip I have for people with zip lines if you know nothing is when you get on a zip line you walk up to it and you mantle it it has that really long starting animation. It's like a full half a second of you mantling that zip line. But if you run and you visibly jump at that zip and mantle on, you'll skip that full animation. So keep in mind, this is what the initial animation looks like. You go up, you grab it, and then it, you know, takes a little bit and you get on it but if you run and jump and then grab it boom you've skipped that initial and you're already going to the top that saves you a ton of time so that's tip one and two for the zipline basics okay moving on to the third one this one's very self-explanatory as well when you get on a zipline you have the ability to grapple off now when you get on the zipline you can see i'm running it all the way to the top here and at the top you do do that little animation again and you get off however obviously if you were to go up a zipline and there's someone up here they're going to shoot you once you get to the top there's a lot of different movements you could do however that if there was someone on the other side they would not be able to kill you or at the very least you would get a couple shots on them before you went down giving your teammates some time to get up that zip line as well let's talk about how you grapple on and off of the zip though because you can hit a zip line midway through you don't have to get on at the bottom or go down for the top keep in mind you can go down as well but it's not really that useful if you're using your parachute you could fly at the zip and then get it halfway through and you can click space to jump off while on the zip line now if you see what i just did there this is actually an advanced tip so we'll be talking about this further in the video but you can use the zip line and jump over the top land on the top and shoot while someone's on the other side but we'll talk about that a little bit this one is basically just talking about getting on halfway through and jumping off halfway through if you need to uh, a tip for this would be if you need to make a rotation and the gas is on you very very soon you can go up the zip line a little bit and then jump off and get a glide and maybe even like make it to this bridge for example in a small amount of time using those vertical zip lines to your advantage uh, kind of like a balloon exactly how you use it like a balloon and that's kind of like all the basics that you could do with these balloons let's get into the advanced portion which will take a little bit more time and now that you know these will make a little bit more sense all right so back to the zip line just flew over here real quick uh we'll get into the advanced category now some people may have skipped directly to this portion of the video as we talked about in the intro and if you did you haven't really missed much other than basically how to use a zip line properly how to get in with that fast animation where you jump grab it and you could jump off instantly and that's basically all you've missed so far so heading straight into the first advance is basically being able to grapple off and jump over the top of the zip line so we'll go check how to do that real quick so once you make it to the top if you time your mantle off correctly which is just jumping you will jump over top of the zip line now keep in mind if you do jump and while going at the zip line you jump off and it shoots you backwards like you end up flying backwards instead of forwards that means that you've done it too late you need to jump off earlier so if you jump off and it shoots you backwards you're jumping off too late and it's a timing issue it's not that the zip line is bugged i hear a lot of people talk to me about this uh it's a timing issue you want to make sure that you're jumping off at the right time to where you jump you shoot up and over the top and you could land on the top if you're moving forward you can also use the zip line depending on how tall it is jump all the way over oh and look at what i did i messed up the timing it shot me backwards you could jump 
all the way up over the top. So that was a good example of messing up the timing and shooting you backwards. It's just a timing issue. The more you do it, you better you get. And of course, you just saw me fail it. Anyone can fail at it. So you're not going to get it 100% of the time, but you will get it a majority of the time, especially if you're practicing. Uh, and you were able to jump over the top. The usefulness of this you saw in the intro is if somebody were up here, you could use this, jump over the top, mantle off, shoot them. And you're shooting them while coming off and as opposed to using the zip line correctly and coming off the top you're not able to shoot right now accurately and you wouldn't be able to kill a guy over there it's a lot safer it's a lot better you can also use it to jump chow in peak where if there's someone up there you could do it a little bit early shoot them a few times and then go back down you know and if your teammate trades you out it's really really nice for those trades if multiple people multiple teammates are using the zip line there's a lot that you could do with it that kind of hinders the lack of movement you get when you get to the top let's get into the second portion of the advanced zip line tips heading into our second tip here uh you are able to do a couple different things of course when you get to the top you can jump off and jump over the top or you can jump off the zip line and mantle the top making it a little bit different and something that your opponent's not always going to be ready for especially if you you know are throwing in a couple different movements on the same person so say there's a person up there firstly you jump over the top you're shooting them yada 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 they go back you go back down and they're expecting you to come back up next you can jump off and mantle the top like this and then maybe throw them off a little bit in that way so you are able to mantle the top of the zip line uh which does help you can even sometimes it's a little bit harder thread the needle and go straight through so there's three different movements you can jump off go straight through which is a little bit harder not that consistent but it is very quick for making it onto the roof uh you can also mantle the top which is a little bit easier all you do is spam your mantle once you jump off the zip line make sure you get that timing right if you don't get the timing right just try again i would recommend you do what i'm doing now go into a plunder match and just try the timings Get it down a little bit before you actually try to match or you could jump over the top all three of which will be very very nice for fighting people on top of roofs and using those zip lines in a different way than they're supposed to be okay with this plunder match coming to a close we may actually get to the end of the zip line tactics in the same plunder match which is kind of cool so uh lastly what i have for you is number three in the advanced zip line tactics is combining those movements and shooting uh while you're doing those so obviously uh we did show that you could shoot while doing those a second ago you want to make sure that you get it down to where you're able to use it practically you know being able to jump over the top is cool for you know speed and precision when you're going up over the top but it is very good for combat as well and it you don't really have to be too cracked at aiming or anything like that while jumping off of the zip lines i mean you're going to be tracking people that are standing still and not expecting you to do this kind of movement a lot of people won't expect it especially you've seen the clips from the intro uh, i do this a lot you know if somebody's watching your zip line right here and you fly up over the top and are shooting them they're like a sitting duck they're going to be sitting here standing crouching they're not going to be moving much it's going to be very easy to hit them so combine those two you know jumping methods you go mantle or you go through the middle and you can shoot while doing all three of those so make sure you practice that shooting because when there's someone up here they're going to be a shooting or a standing duck and they're very 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 easy to hit and you can keep going on over and over and over obviously combining all of those zip tips that you just learned oh my gosh hold up oh i thought i had a sniper bro that would have been so clean i wonder if this guy will let me do the zip thing on him i think he will hold up come on I don't think he knows what's going on. I'm not going to lie. No way. Does he get away? All right, he does get away, but uh, it just shows that it's very easy to use. It throws people off side surprise, and, you know, clueless players like that are never going to know what you're going to do. It's very, very nice for people sitting on top of buildings because a lot of people that are on top of these buildings are just, they're there to rat, they're there to win, and it's, there's nothing wrong with that, but they will get taken off guard by doing stuff like this, and being able to combine all of those uh, movements really help for a smooth game. You know, like, if I'm running around and I'm trying to get over there, I can hit the zip line, fly off, go over there, get to the top, kill a guy. There's a lot you could do with it and uh it's something that i wish everyone would really implement to their play because it adds a full dimension of combat and stuff that you could do with people on top of buildings you could even you know use the zip line like this go up a little bit shoot them jump around to the stairs and then go up the stairs there's so so much you could do the outplay is endless so do add this to your repertoire let me know how it feels let me know if you enjoyed the video today as it's a nice little master class as what you could do with the zip lines as i posted a video similar to this the other day but people wanted a more in-depth guide the number one thing to remember is consistency so if you're messing up the timings or if you're going backwards just know it's a consistency it's a timing issue very easy to fix work on that and and go back at it and and you know let me know how it feels. Let me know how it feels. Enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Ah,
Hantu, hantu, hantu. 